Hello guys. Good morning, actually. It is quarter to one, so it's not the morning. Good afternoon. It is Friday. I have had a really slow morning because I had the worst sleep last night. I feel like I'm just at that point in pregnancy where I'm like, I need to get up and go to the toilet like two or three times a night. And sometimes once I'm up, I really struggle to fall back to sleep. And like last night, for some reason, I was super emotional. <laughs> Again, another like third trimester thing that's popped up is like, I am just super emotional right now. Um, almost, it's like the same feeling as PMS. Like you don't really know why you're upset or like why you're feeling that way. The only thing to explain it is hormones. Um, <laughs> so last night I had like, a little breakdown and then I think just like when I woke up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet my brain was still kind of going crazy from that so anyways long story short I did not sleep well <laughs> so I was planning on filming a video for my main channel this morning but I just decided to give myself a little break um and not like push myself too much so yeah it's been a slow morning but i am actually just putting on a little bit of makeup now to go and pick up ben from the airport i'm so excited he's been away for two weeks and it's been a very lonely two weeks in this household so I'm very excited that he's coming home. And even more exciting, which I don't think I've even like, I don't think I've spoken about this on my Instagram or anything, but straight from the airport, we are heading to a meeting with our renovation company because we are about to start a bunch of renovations on our house which is so exciting. A little bit of a backstory. We bought our house about three and a half years ago now, and it's a 30 year old home. So it's got like some quirks to it. <laughs> it's still got like the slate tiles in the kitchen, which I absolutely loathe. I cannot stand them. I'm pretty sure like the cabinetry in the kitchen is like the original <laughs> cabinetry. It's so old and clunky and dodgy. There's just a lot of stuff in this house that could use an update and we've said for ages that we either want to buy a new home like a new family home and move into that or do renos on this home and kind of create our like dream family home and just with the market and everything right now the housing market in brisbane and like australia in general is absolutely wild and like we've been to a couple of house inspections and like looked at open homes and stuff but I think like we really like our house there's nothing wrong with it we just want more of like a family home like a pool and you know a bit more living space and stuff and there's nothing on the market right now that would be perfectly what we want and so we decided instead we would stay where we are and do renos and just create what our like version of a family home is I mean, we might be crazy for trying to start all of this when we're about to have a baby, but like, is there ever a good time to start renovations? Probably not, but we've chosen now. Now is the time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to document that and bring you guys along on the reno journey. First things first is we've got our meeting today with the reno guys. We've had like our first lot of um, provisional concepts sent through. So they've got like our floor pants floor plans and stuff like that and have done up some um, concepts based on what we've spoken to them about and now this is kind of step two we're going in and meeting with them and we're going to chat through the plans and like make any changes and I think they also have a showroom so we're going to have a look at their showroom and just see like all the different things that they can do for us it's going to be exciting so I am going to bring you guys along and try and document as much of that as possible. But first things first, we've got to go pick up Ben, which is the most exciting part of my day right now. i 
the place to spot you from a race My heart, it started racing The crowd across the way felt was on your face and Okay, here I was before. thinking I was gonna be late But now I've rocked up to like the pickup zone and he's not got his bags yet <laughs> This makes me really nervous because you can't really like sit here and wait for very long. Um, the traffic people like get angry at you if you just sit and wait. I thought I was gonna be late. I like really thought I was gonna be late, but here I am. Okay, never mind. Here he comes. I can see him. Oh, thank God. That was making me really anxious. I'm like standing here looking at the traffic guy, just waiting for him to come over. He's coming! Oh, it's not pretty warm here. Yeah. I have snacks. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just got to the renovation company. We're a little bit early. I think we're 10 minutes early. I don't know how like i don't i don't really know what this meeting is so i don't know if i can vlog it or like what the process is gonna be but if i can vlog it and it's not awkward they don't really know that i do this for work so <laughs> it might be a little bit weird walking in with a camera but we'll see we'll see what the vibe is um because i want to bring you guys along and show you as much of this process as possible because it's super super exciting this will be ben and i in our new home when it's renovated finished at the Renault place. We were there for like, what, an hour? Yeah. It's exciting. I'm excited. Are you excited? You look hungry. I'm hungry as well. I got in the car. I felt really, really sick and realized I hadn't really eaten anything since um, breakfast. This is why you always pack snacks. I've learned that when being pregnant, you just have to have snacks with you everywhere you go in case you get hungry. This is nothing worse. Than being pregnant and hangry. Yes, there, Ben. He's <laughs> dealing with it. Anyways, the meeting was good. They took us through the showroom and showed us like all their ranges of like tiles, bench tops, like the shower cavities, hardware. Is that what you call it? Like the actual showers, stuff like that. Um, so they're gonna do a quote now for us and then the next thing i guess is just it's so bumpy <laughs> is, yeah the next thing is paying for it but also choosing like the specific bench top that we want and like the specific tiles that we want and stuff so um i think i'm gonna really enjoy that bit to like see like choose the colors and the styles and like have it all come together i think that's gonna be really exciting but yeah, it was good. Who's that? That's your dad. Hey. All right, it is now a few days later. It is Monday. The weekend has been and gone. We actually had a really busy weekend. We had um, I think just because like Ben had been away, we had a lot of like catching up with friends and family to do. So that's been and gone. So today is Monday. It's actually Valentine's Day today. So I thought I'd put on this cute Valentine's type dress, but it doesn't fit me the same way that it used to. I'll show you guys in the mirror. If you guys watch my pedal and pop hauls on my main channel, you may have seen this dress before. It used to fit me a lot better, um, but unfortunately it is very, very short at the front now. So I don't know that I'd ever actually wear this outside of the house because I'd probably show my private parts to the public and that's not, we don't want that. So I'm gonna keep it on for while I'm in the house today because I feel like it's such a cute like Valentine's day dress. But yeah, if we go out tonight and like go out for dinner or do anything, I'm probably gonna have to change anyway. Prego problems, right? On that note, <laughs> you can probably hear that I am out of breath. 
Um, I'm currently 30 weeks and two days. I can't believe, like I actually cannot believe that I've hit 30 weeks. I remember when I was first pregnant and like my morning sickness was so bad. I used to sit on the app and just like scroll to the end of the timeline on the app to see, um, I don't know, just to look at the timeline for when like I'm further along in pregnancy and give me a little bit of hope that like morning sickness would be over and done with. And I remember getting to like the end of the, the timeline when it was like 30 weeks and seeing like, I don't know, just seeing how big baby was then on the app and stuff. And now I'm here, like now we are on the home stretch and it just feels so, so weird. Like I've officially got nine weeks left, which that being a single digit is crazy. But yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm definitely, definitely feeling it. I've been really uncomfortable. Baby is sitting like head down. So she's currently got her head and it feels like a majority of her body down here. So I've been experiencing quite a lot of like lower, like belly pelvic pain, um, which my midwife said is quite normal. It's, it's not even really pain. It's just pressure. Like sometimes if I move around or if I sit down in a funny way, I don't know what it is, but I'll just get like really, really weird pelvic pressure if I've been on my feet for a long time. Um, so yeah, that's fun. And I'm just like really out of breath. I was so exhausted this morning, but I've somehow got like a little, a little burst of energy now. So I'm going to try and get some work done, but that's the little prego update for today's vlog. I actually also just got a couple of packages that I wanted to show you guys because these are super cute and very exciting. So this one here is from Cove Cleaning. I actually started following them on Instagram about a month ago because I saw someone else post about them and I have been trying to switch out my cleaning products, like my hand soaps, my laundry stuff, just like all of the cleaning like household items. I've been trying to switch out to more sustainable products that I can kind of just like refill and reuse rather than having to go and buy a whole new bottle every time I run out. So anyways, I found this company on Instagram and started following them and they actually reached out and asked if I'd be interested in receiving their starter kit. And I was like, hell yes, absolutely. So they were kind enough to send this to me and I am just like, I'm so obsessed with the packaging. <laughs> like I know they're just cleaning products, but there is something so aesthetic about this packaging. I feel like it's gonna wanna make me clean more. <laughs> which is great. That's a really great thing. Um, but yeah, we've got a laundry detergent, a refillable surface cleaner, refillable glass cleaner and bathroom cleaner. So these are all of the packs here full of the liquids. So I'm going to have to go through and fill them up, but it's really cool because you just keep this one bottle and then when you need to refill it or if it runs out, you just buy this refill pack and it's 80% less plastic than buying like the normal stuff off the shelves of like Woolworths and Coles and all of that. So most of them you literally just add water. Um, it's like a concentrated product in here and then you just add water and fill up the bottle. Um, this one here is, I'm like really intrigued to use because I've been looking into laundry detergents at the moment because I'm trying to find something that is suitable to wash all of baby's clothes in. So I'm going to do a little bit of research behind this one and figure out if it's like good for sensitive, um, skin and all of that. But yeah, super, super cool. Plant-based, cruelty-free and vegan. This isn't sponsored by the way. I just like, like I said, I came across this company myself on Instagram thought it looked really really cool and then they were kind enough to just reach out and send this to me so they've also given me a discount code which I think is just Erin15 I'll leave it up on the screen in case you guys are also trying to make the switch to like more sustainable eco-friendly products um yeah I just think this is a really cool brand it's a nice little small business too and you guys know I love supporting small businesses so I'll leave them linked down below I also got this cute little package from a brand called Lady Miller Collective this is actually one of my followers brand and she started up her own business selling bows and like hair accessories and little baby girl accessories which I just think is so adorable so she sent me a bunch of stuff again I'll leave like her Instagram handle down below so that you guys can check her out but she also sent this cute little dummy holder I love these because they kind of double as like a teething 
chain, which is really cool. But yeah, we've got a couple of tiny little headbands and then we've got the bigger ones. I'm so excited to just like see my baby in real life and dress her in stuff like this. It's just so exciting. So these are really, really cute. Look at these colors too. She asked me what color scheme I was kind of into and I said, I'm sticking with like neutrals and pinks and just like very girly kind of stuff because that's basically what I wear. Adorable. I'm pretty sure these are all handmade too, which is incredible. Um, and then we've got a little turban as well. So if you want to check her out, like I said, I'll leave her brand linked down below. She does the cutest, cutest stuff. Again, just another small business that I want to show some support to. She's obviously been supporting me on my platforms for a very long time. So I wanted to share it with you guys in case you are also expecting a baby girl soon, or if you have friends or family that are expecting. Stuff like this would make like the perfect, perfect gift. All right, so I'm currently in the nursery baby girl's room and I just filmed my Kmart haul. I actually ordered like, I think it was a $250 order, I wanna say, um, a few weeks ago. And it all kind of arrived like sporadically over the last few weeks and it's finally all here. So I filmed a little Kmart haul for my TikTok. So if you guys wanna see that, I'll leave my TikTok linked down below. But I had to rush through it because there's only a three minute like time limit on TikTok. And I have so much stuff here. There was no way I could get it all, like show it all properly in three minutes. So I thought I'd quickly show you the onesies as I go through them and like take the tags off just in case any of you wanted to see them like more up close. So I thought I'd quickly do that before Ben gets home. So first thing is this cute little summer romper. It's ribbed and it's in like a cute peach color. I'm pretty sure this was so cheap. Two dollars. Two dollars. Are you kidding? I got it in zero to three months. It's so hard shopping for baby stuff because like, I mean, she's going to be born in April and that's just before our winter. But because I live in Queensland, even our winters are still kind of warm sometimes during the day. So I've been like struggling to know what to buy her. I want to buy her stuff that she'll be warm enough in for winter. But then on the days that are hot, I still want her to have sizes that fit her like at that stage. So yeah, <laughs> even though it'll kind of be winter, I got this for her. I think it's really, really cute. And it was $2. And then there's this cute little two piece set. It comes with this gorgeous little white ribbed shirt underneath. And then the little, oh my God. I'm getting tangled. And then the little dress with the bloomers down the bottom. Um, that's like super cute to be layered. And then it comes with like a matching headband as well. I also got her this gingham dress, which is so funny because I'm wearing gingham today. Clearly I'm a fan of gingham. Um, and I got her a matching <laughs> bucket hat to go with the dress. So cute. I literally cannot wait to see her wearing all of this stuff. All right, into the onesies. This is the part that I had to kind of skip over really quickly in the TikTok because I noticed that I was running out of time. Um, but can I just say, I am so impressed with the quality of Kmart onesies for the price. Like this one here is organic cotton. It's $8 and it is so soft. The material is actually like really, really thick. It's got the little booties on the end. It's got the two-way zipper. Like Bond stuff is so expensive compared to this, but I feel like the quality, it really isn't that different. So anyways, I got this in zero to three months. It's just like a cute little neutral pattern. I've kind of been steering away from getting like super bright pink stuff. Even though I love pinks, I'm just like not loving it for my baby. I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm sticking to more like pastels and neutrals. I did, however, get this little, guess how much I love you onesie. I had to, this is like a family tradition. This book was the book that my dad read to me every night before I went to bed. And then it kind of just became his and my little saying to each other. It was like, guess how much I love you. And then he would say like, I love you to infinity and beyond to the moon and back forever and ever. Like we just, make up like this crazy thing about how much we loved each other. So this means a lot to my dad and I wanted to get this so that I can put her in this and yeah, he'll meet her in this little onesie, which I think is so cute. Um, oh my God, I'm, I'm so puffed, I'm out of breath. 
I got this three pack. Is it three? One, two. Yeah, three pack of onesies for $18. Again, the quality is incredible. And all the patterns are so cute. There's like a little floral pattern, a little green pastel gingham, and then just like super small pink polka dots. I got this in zero to three months. Just this little organic cotton ribbed onesie. This is like newborn size. I've been trying not to get too much stuff that's newborn size because I know that she'll grow out of it super fast, but like I still want to have some stuff that will hopefully fit her like right at the very beginning. So this is just really simple. Again, I think it was like $8. Yep. $8. It's got the two-way zip. It's ribbed. It's incredible quality. I love the little pockets too. Like I love how they put pockets on baby things because like Babies don't need pockets, but they're just like so cute. They're so small and teeny tiny. Got her these little sage green swimmers with the little frills down here. Super, super cute. This also says it's SPF 50 plus, which I think is amazing, especially for Kmart. This is for six to 12 months, just because it won't be summer or like she probably won't be swimming until she's about six months, maybe earlier, but like, I don't know, we'll see. But this is, this was $7, like $7, are you kidding? And I feel like that little gingham bucket hat, where did it go? Like that'll look really cute with this too. Oh my God, she's kicking me so hard right now. I think it's cause I'm sitting on the ground. Ow. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I got her just this pack of crew socks. I just think they're so adorable. These are the kind of socks that I would wear. And I think I just like reach for things that I would probably wear to buy her. Cause I'm like, wow, that's so cute. I'd wear it. My baby's gonna wear it too. Um, What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I just got a bunch of maternity stuff. I kind of went through that in the TikTok. Um, just like some breastfeeding friendly, like camis and bras and stuff. I'll probably just live in them postpartum for the first few weeks at home when I'm not leaving the house. So they're nothing fancy, but they had really good reviews online. Um, I also got this little two piece ribbed set for her. Again, this was so cheap, $8. And it's such a cute little peach color. And then they do such good Packs. This is a pack of five bodysuits. For $15, I got size triple zero. Yeah, zero to three months. Um, and all the little colors and patterns are so cute. And I've heard that these sleeveless bodysuits are really good to have to like layer under sleep sacks and even just onesies and stuff. Like depending on the weather, you can kind of layer and make her a little bit warmer and cozier but also just for like around the house if i've got the heater on or whatever super cute and like just such good value for money and then i got a massive pack of the terry nappies i'm probably not going to use them as nappies i've actually had a lot of people tell me these are really really good as burp cloths and also to lay on your change table like before you lay baby down yeah apparently these are just really really handy to have and yeah the rest i kind of showed on tiktok like a bit more in depth, so I won't double up, but there we go. That's my little more in depth, slightly more in depth Kmart haul. It's the next morning. I am sitting here editing this vlog and realized I never did like an end clip last night. As you guys know, it was Valentine's day. Ben got home from work and we literally just ordered some pizzas and had like a little movie night to ourselves. It was really cute. Um, just really low key. The weather was so rainy, so I just didn't want to leave the house and <laughs> night times for me, I like hit a wall. I hit a wall. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm uncomfortable. All I want to do is lay on my couch. So pizzas and movies was the best option for us. But anyways, I am going to end the vlog here. Um, if you guys have any questions about our reno plans, I realized I didn't really chat too much about what specifically we're going to be doing with the house so i might try and include that in the next video but if you guys have any specific questions about our reno plans leave them down below and i will try and um, answer them in my next vlog for you so yeah very exciting lots of things happening and i just can't wait to share it all with you guys so anyways thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys what would I do?